So I, the first like eight, nine days of going carnivore was tough because I, you know, I completely stopped all the keto treats and sweets yeah. and the keto snack and in between meals or whatever. And it's not like I, I gained a bunch of weight or anything. It's just that I lost focus on why I chose the keto diet. Right. Yeah. And then, you know, it would just be like, Oh, Hey, I want cheesecake tonight. Okay. I, hey, I want a milkshake tonight. And every day it was always something. Yeah. And, and now uh, like switching to this is like, okay, I can't have any sweets. I don't drink anything, but Topo Chico and water anyway, but 90% Topo Chico. <laughs> and, um, so it's not coffee. I don't have to worry about any of that. And it's just, it was just, you're just really taking out vegetables. Yeah. And sweets. Yep. That's one thing that she said that, um, that she also said about sweets too. in the keto diet is like you get into it and you, you're in it for a few months and you get all the net benefits from it. Mm -hmm. And then you start looking at all the keto treats and that it's labeled keto. And it's like, okay, well I can, I can kind of venture off into this because it's keto friendly, mm -hmm. but it's really, it's a cookie. A cookie's a fucking cookie, you know, like, so there's nothing in the store that is keto friendly period. Yeah. <laughs> if it says keto, it's not, yeah. we know this. We, I think we talked about it last mm -hmm. time. There's so much um, misinformation, um, improper marketing. They know what they're doing. They put keto on the box. They have to meet a certain criteria in order to put keto on there. They send it out to the marketplace. The normal person goes out and goes, oh, look, it's keto, and it tastes okay. It's not cardboard, but it's not that great, but it's doable. And then they consume that, and they're missing the whole point. 